Marion Fellows. Mr Speaker, I am going to make no apologies at the start because I will repeat some of what has already been said in my short talk. But, however, my constituents know only too well the terrible costs of plant closures. And to have it happen twice in Redcar, absolutely my heartfelt sympathies to each and every person involved. And to the Honourable Member for Redcar and the other members for Teesside, I know how hard you have worked. Mm. Industrial vandalism does not even begin to describe what is happening to steel plants and what has happened to steel plants in this country in the past. Ravenscraig, I have said the name, it now means very, very little. They are still cleaning up in Ravenscraig. They have tried to contain all of the terrible heavy metals and all of the industrial stuff. And most of it has gone, but they are finding it very hard to redevelop that site, simply because of what was there before. At Rotherham on Friday, will the Minister pledge to give positive help to the UK steel industry? Please. We have to get positive help to survive the recession for all the reasons that have already been mentioned high electricity costs, high rates costs, mm -hmm. all of that. Yeah. We have had talks and talks and talks about how, and I know the Minister wants to help and has been very positive and has been commended for her positivity and her help. But it comes to the end of the line. No more talking. We need actual action and we need more than 80 million to try somehow to replace all these well-paid jobs. Again, my constituency know how, knows how that feels. Many people went, to, in fact, the previous member for my constituency went to university on the back of the training costs that were given at that time. Now, he was lucky, not everyone was able to do that, but it, didn't, it still did not produce the type of well paid jobs that were used to be there. And that is what is going to happen in Redka. You know this, we all know this. And again, we talk about state aid. Again, other countries in Europe seem to be able to do it. And it seems to me that the party opposite use Europe as a battering ram. Yeah. One thing for one side, one thing for another. They change their minds and things all the time. It is possible. It has been done by yeah. other countries. Almost please, three. please consider this. Thank you. Honourable Lady, I thank her for what she said. Minister. Hey, um, I'm more than happy to meet the Honourable... Um, I'm more than happy to meet the Honourable Lady to explain to her the state aid rules and also to bust some of these myths. But she, could be, she needs to be assured that the problem is when you have an overconsumption across the world. These are harsh economic realities. And whilst I wish I did have a magic wand, what no government can do is set the price of steel. And the price of slab has almost halved in 12 months. Hardly anybody is making a profit and no no government can solve that, but she can be assured this government is doing everything it can to support the steel industry in this country. And when we can't, and it's unfortunate, uh, as we find out in Redcar, we then support those workers into new jobs. Mr. Kevin 